Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rose Star MVP Challenge. Today starts a month-long journey of competition. A competition to decide who is the best player in yeah, the world. Yeah, Berg was the player that I looked out for when, when it came to kind of learning the game and kind right. of what some of the meta was at the highest level. He was the person I watched. Obviously, a very, very skilled player. Like we talked about before, the things that these guys can do on these tablets to me is still so, so incredible. So yeah. I'm with you. I'm definitely looking out to see kind of if he continues the dominance, like we said, we think he's going to, but uh, obviously, you know, anything can happen in the PR game. He's very wary of their positions, and now oh. it's time for Ferg to challenge one of the best players in the entire game. Makes quick work of one. Says goodbye to Augen, another top 15 player. Ferg may or may not be the best player in the entire world. This uh -oh. guy is unbelievable. I've been watching a ton of his gameplay kind of leading up. Might have even hit the subscribe button. I don't know. Regardless, though, he looks unbelievable. He's obviously going to be playing along with his teammate Hawk's Nest. Of course, both players for Cloud9. So th that, to me, is definitely a team to look out for. I know we got a few other pro rosters as well they are going to be competing today. But uh, for me, I've got my eyes on C9, and more specifically, i got my eye on Ferg. Yes, Ferg taking down another player. As now that's going to be two, and look at this from Spring. This could be oh. his opportunity. He might be able to seize it, but of course, Hawk's Nest quite literally acting like a hawk, watching out for his teammate, and covers Ferg's back. So with our RGS, there wouldn't be professional Ferg, it would still be the personality-based, funny YouTube character Ferg, um, but now it's a bit of both worlds and I would like to say thanks to RGS for that, it's, it's awesome being a professional gamer. C9 Ferg is starting to heat up at three eliminations. He is looking solid. Onto Snow, that should be an easy Elim. Spotting his head, unable to connect enough. And that player, you would think that he had a line of sights, and there it is. He's going to connect. If he can make it somewhat close, he's about close. to be spotted. There's no if way. If Ferg doesn't see him, he's got, this could yep. be big, but there he yep. goes. nice spotting coming in from Ferg as to where the final player could be lingering. Holding an aid in his hand, yep. and he actually makes it land from yep. there, carrying his team to the top of this match. This splash damage, Ferg also taking a little bit, decides to go for the rush, feeling the uncomfortableness of the storm. Where's he at? And it looks like Saxy is going to spot him, but he doesn't have time to take a med kit, Ryan. He's so low on HP, he's just trying to play this one passively. Is Ferg going to catch him? And yes, Ferg being very aware of his surroundings. Baby, Saxy, get out of my game, bro. Get out of my game, Saxy, bro. Zeus off in the corner. That's going to be the teammate. But Ferg is actually toward the backside of this. Ferg is on the other side behind Kiri right now, and he doesn't know about it. So as Ferg starts to move forward, we have our number one and number two players possibly about to engage. They're going to come in, I think. They're going to come in. When is she's dead. Nice. She, she, one, yeah. one, one, yeah. Yo, he's on me, he's on me. He's on me, he's on me. Kiri's on me. What he might have just stumbled upon and going for the shot, trying to take down Hawk's Nest, going for the initial drop. Yes, there goes the drop. Able to make it happen. Goes for the thirst and does take down Hawk's Nest. So big moment right there for Kiri. But he's got Ferg, Ferg on the flank and Ferg might have just knocked him. Yes, Ferg takes out the number two player. And he finished off Wanishi. Did he actually? I believe Ferg has taken both players down. Oh my god. Ferg, six kills. I thought it was higher than that. Regardless, though, this man is fantastic. He's in the zone kid, right yeah. now. Yeah, metting in the zone. And Ferg just knocked down Sir Fate and, and Kimmy. Kimmy. Oh my gosh, Ferg. But he gets eliminated. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. No, dude. They still might. No, they both got yeah, rest, bro. see who is at the top and who else other than the C9 boys, Hawk's Nest and Ferg, in the number one and number two position. Staying in the zones, so they've got to be very wary of oh. that. Molotov is out. Things are getting very interesting. Cloud exchanging a few nades, and right now Hawk's Nest, the entire building is starting to burn the watermelon coming clean off of his head if he's not <laughs> careful, and trying to hold on to this building. Explosions absolutely everywhere. And I will say, They've got to be very wary of their positions, and now it's time for Ferg to challenge. One of the best players in the entire game makes quick work of one. Says goodbye to Augen, another top 15 player. Yeah. By 
and, and not losing a teammate, by right? not losing a single player, and now is the chance for Fisk. Desperately trying to take one down, and here's Charisma's chance. Here's his opportunity. Can he take down Ferg? And he never stood a chance. Fantastic stuff coming in from Cloud9's own as they take down the defending champions and make it look easy. And now, MRX Saxy, my man. Representing well, has a good vantage oh point. But and that's And look how quickly they can take it out. Yep. He's one shot, absolute one shot. He might have died. Saxy was knocked outside. Door, in the door, in the door to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. He has an RPG, we shouldn't be this close. You'll pick me up, number one. But this is the last guy, so Danny's just gonna try and heal off at this point, maybe get a vantage point, but... You've got the full C9 guys in there. Ooh. One challenge is he's going to capitalize and get an elimination. That's going to be another 20 points going into his inventory. Pushes out the window. Shots are going to be fired. He's going to get taken down. And C9, against all odds, goes from ninth place to first. Carrying Scorpio and Twitch. Aging. Player after player falling. Top competition getting <sighs> dropped. And I believe Ferg and C9 wow, have officially entered the fray as well. Players are dropping left and right. Self Slays got taken out a little bit ago. Charisma just taken out as well. Ralph is going to be finished. One of the top 12 players in this tournament. Gregory, he's going to be off of the distance. We know how quickly he can be finished off. Taking some shots, but he's been a talented player. We know he could come in with some talented shots, but not able to do it. Scorpio from the C9 squad still going to be up and picking up his partner. Can C9 take over this first place to recover that ninth place? Well, it's very possible at this point. They are looking solid. Great shots off of the distance to take out play from the MKS squad. They are officially they eliminated. They got both of them. That's going to be four eliminations. He ends up getting taken down. A nade gets tossed out toward excerpts. And this could be it from Ferg tossing out Kobe nades, trying to do some initial crits as it comes down to a 1v1, possibly one of the best oh, he's players done. in the game, and he makes it. He land. did it! Ferg finishes off Let's with go, baby. Dude. Let's go, bro. Five. Five, okay, yeah. Let's go, baby. Did y'all fucking win again? Yeah, bro. We're gonna lose. You're gonna be seeing. Is that Ferg? Is he actually rocking the gamer tag right now? Ferg is MVP. He is full on and confident. <laughs> Maybe doing a few uh, circle eights to kick things off. But it looks as if Ferg is going to go off by himself, possibly. Going to try to make somewhat of a pinch as NRX Clan of not, or not rather, going to be aware of this whatsoever. Ferg on a full on rotation is on the flank. And this one should be the easiest Elim of the game. And yes, there goes Juniel. Thank you for playing, pal. That's going to be the very first of many eliminations to come from our main man, the Roastar MVP, as of right now, Cloud9 Zone, Mr. Ferg. One shot. Uh, pick me up. Last guy's one shot. Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Last guy's one shot. Absolute. Yo, quick, quick, quick. I love you. Shimonette goes down. That's a big kill. Oh, Sir Anthony might go drop as well. Finally. Trying to see Vingus at the top. Vingus not able to take him out just yet. Anthony getting a full oh, elimination. But he with that. He is going to go down himself, so he is now officially done. But Vengus is going to be taken out by Ferg. Ferg being ever so patient, what, letting those eliminations go down, waiting for the fights to happen. That actually might be it, Shauners. And yes, Ferg taking down another player. As now that's going to be two, and look at this from Spring. This could be oh. his opportunity. He might be able to seize it, but of course, Hawk's Nest, Nest quite literally acting like a hawk, watching out for his teammate, and covers Ferg's back. That's what you love to see from a group of players, a group of teammates, watching out for each other and making sure that they can move on as a duo. Cloud9, the two top players in our tournament, how will they fare off in their last fight of the Roastar MVP Challenge? How will they close things out and throw things to curtains? Ferg, Hawksnest, uh -oh. both run vehicles, and it looks as if Victor has been spotted by Hawksnest, keeping in mind that there is a player just on the flank, and it's actually going to be Wedgie, and there he goes. Same thing with Ferg, rather Victor, excuse me. So it is going to be, I believe, 
Is that a 1v1? Or no, they actually do close it out. It looked as if it was going to be a mono -a mono situation, but Hawksnest finishes one off on the other side, and Ferg does it on the low side. A wonderful closeout from the boys on C9 as they close out the final game of the Roastar MVP Challenge, game number 12. They make it happen and escape with a majority of those points and equal out with three apiece. Reboot, I'm correct, my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me You can fall. 